Chad, come on. Yeah, maybe I should have remembered Grandma's birthday. I did. Jackson, not now. Dad, Hannah Montana needs to be walking down the red carpet in New York in less than three hours. Finally, all you ever wanted to do was sing. Hannah let you do that and still have a normal life. That was the dream, remember? That's why we created her in the first place. But to be honest, I just don't know what she's about anymore. What are you saying? I'm trying to say I think we might be done. You can't take Hannah away from me. Really? Because that's what I'm doing. Stop the truck! I'm not doing this! I want to go home! You are home! Look around you! Hannah means everything to me. That right there might just be the problem. So you're saying I can never be Hannah again? Well, I would rather drink my milkshake than wear it, but I'm fine. I'm sorry. You look it. Forget it. Hey, look. I really am sorry. Didn't we just do this? I'm well, by the way. Well, let me buy you another shirt. No thanks. I'm good. Come on, I'm just practicing southern hospitality. Oh really? Is that what they call hanging on strangers you know now? I have no interest in buying you a shirt. Is that so? I'm just over here so the other team can catch a breath. Wow. Pushy and conceited. Why don't you come watch? I'll pass. Thank you. But I'm your kid and you taught me how to stand up and fight for myself. Oh, Roxy! Face it, Dad, it's all falling into place. Not for me, it isn't. <laughs> Why not? You know I can do this. You can trust me. That's not the point. Then what is the point? The point is you're not ready to do this on your own. Yes, I am, Daddy, and you know it. Come on, Dad, let me go, please. That's it, Milo. I don't want to talk about this anymore. That's not fair! I don't have to be fair. I'm the dad, and I'm not letting you go. Why are you treating me like such a baby? Because you're acting like one. You lied to me, Dad. Lie. Yes, you did, Dad. You said you were fine. You're not fine. That was a lie. Lie, it's not the same thing. It's hard to be angry. Good. Is that why you brought us here? So you wouldn't have to be alone, Will? Why didn't you tell us? It's not what I wanted this time to be about. Well, it is. It is now, Daddy. This is just another... another part of a terrific summer. Not one of the better parts, I admit. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Daddy. Wait, 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 wait. Ronnie. You were there. I wanted to tell you. You saw what it did to him. I know. I tried to get Scott to fess up. Why didn't you say something? It's not that simple. It wasn't about me. I mean, Scott's a good guy. I don't care, Will. You knew how guilty my dad felt, and you let him feel that way. Just go up to that college your parents picked out for you. Go find some other girl that makes you feel alive for five minutes. I can't even stand to be near you. Stop. Don't touch me, Will. Don't touch me. You're a coward, Will. You're a coward and you're a liar. And I don't trust you. I don't want you near me. And I don't want you near my dad. Go. Go!
What do you mean you're not doing the show? Exactly that. We're singing a duet, Troy. A duet means two people. Well, mostly me in this case, but whatever, a duet! Employee. Employees aren't allowed in the show. No, 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 no. You're an honorary member. Not anymore. I asked Fulton for my kitchen job back. What? Trope, I don't like the way you've been treating my friends. And I don't like the way I've been treating them either. So I'm doing something about it. <laughs> An entire table of university boosters are coming to see you. Thanks to me. So I'll be their waiter. They'll be thrilled. Trey, Trey, this could change your life. I'm more interested about what my friends think of me. And what I think of myself. Oh, we can all hold hands around the campfire some other time. Right now, we have a show to do. No. You've got a show to do. I got a kitchen to clean. Forget about the rest of us. How about the fact that your brother has worked extremely hard on the show? Oh, boo who? He'll be in the show. He'll do his celebrity impersonations. And don't lecture me about Ryan, given the way you've been interfering with Troy's future. You've got him written up by Fulton for sneaking on the golf course. Swimming after hours, I had to step in just to save Troy's job. I'm not interested in what you think you're doing for Troy. That's between you and him. But you're messing with my friends my summer, and that's not okay with me. You don't like the fact that I won. What's the prize? Troy? The Star Dazzle Award? You have to go through all of this just to get either one? No thanks, Sharpay. You're very good at a game that I don't want to play. So, I'm done here. But you better step away from the mirror long enough to check the damage that will always be right behind you. I said keep an eye on them, not turn them into the cast of Grease. Pretty cool, huh? Do you want us to lose the Star Dazzle Award to a bunch of dishwashers? Us? Well, I guess that's showbiz. When did you become one of them? You know, I'll take that as a compliment. But you and Troy have a good show, sis. Oh. We plan to. Then you do as a trying out real thing? I need it. Actually, it's not available. Repeat? Well for Troy and Gabriella, just in case they have a... We're an employee here, not a fairy godmother. Let's have it. Transpose into my key. Troy and I will be doing it in the talent show. Oh, and bring up the tempo. We'll need to keep people awake. What about our song? What about whom or whom? Change of plans. What am I supposed to do with my tiki warrior outfit? Tim for Halloween? Go to a luau? Sell it online. I don't know. But in the meantime, keep an eye on those wildcats. If they're planning on being in the show, which I doubt once they hear about trying me, I don't want any surprises. Oh, and don't worry. We'll find something somewhere for you in the show. Or the Ooh. next show. Don't strain yourself, Slick. My life is over. I've been a good girl. Never lied. Except when necessary. I've always bought my parents expensive gifts. Using their credit card, of course. I don't deserve this humiliation. How's your show going? How's it going? My show makes the captain. His dad look like he's won the lottery. I'll sing with you, Sharpay. What? I promised. And I keep my promises. But what was the first thing you said to me when I started working here? Drinking more iced tea? Think harder. We're... All in this together. Exactly. Well, we are. So let's get out there and knock him dead, Troy Bolton. I do the show if the Wildcats do the show. And I think fast. I just sort of wish you were doing this for me. You're a good guy, Troy. Actually, right now I think I like you better than I like myself. Did I just say that? And neither do I. And you can tell Mr. Merritt Scar that he can... Oh, Pay no attention to the woman behind the wall. Who are you and why are you insulting me? I'm London's brain. 
I'm the one who's been talking to you all day, and I can't listen to your dribble for one more second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, what's this about? Look, the truth is, Maddie's been coaching me through this computer chocolate chip. Why would you need coaching? Wait a minute, did she just say computer chocolate chip? Enough said. Well, I'm not smart. I'm not a merit scholar. I'm not even sure what we've been talking about for the last two days. So all the stuff you were saying about art and music and literature, those weren't your opinions? Nope. <laughs> oh, except for what I said about the banana nut muffins. I really do like them. They're soft from the banana. Yeah, crunchy from the nuts. <laughs> Didn't get any deeper than that. The good news is, Nut Girl will probably vote for you. Unlike me. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't need the vote of some tree hugger. If you have it your way, there won't be any trees left to hug. Next, you're going to blame the oil companies for global warming. Yes, because they're to blame. Oh, try me a river. If I did, you'd pollute it. You bleeding heart liver. Establishment puppet. Do you want to kiss me as much as I want to kiss you? Surprise someone as smart as you would have to ask. <laughs> wow, didn't see that coming. I hate you. I hate you more. <laughs> Boy, I wonder what they'd do if they liked each other. A minute. Oh, my God. Haley? I'll do it. I swear to God, I'll do it. You don't believe me. Nobody does. So I swear to God, I'll stab myself. Dr. Karev, Alex, I need you to put that down. It'll kill me, right? If I stuck this in my heart, it'll kill me, right? do that, Haley. If I stuck this here, I would die, right? Trust me. I can help you. I'm not crazy. I know. I, I, I believe you. Everyone outside thinks you're crazy, but something's going on inside, and none of us understand. So we need to figure out what that is, and the only way we can do that is if you put that down and let me run some tests. Okay? You promise? Yes. Put it down. It's gonna be okay. Good. That's good. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy.